How's it going, ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Sixkill, and welcome back to Nirvana Initiative. In the last episode, we finished up Amame's second uh, Somnium, which pretty much spelled out the rest of the entire story to us. So she's the, the new killer after Terra. Hardly shocking, considering she's been sus the entire game, but let's have a chat, shall we? Why'd you meet with Uru? Five days ago, on February 10th, I got a call from Uru telling me he wanted to meet me at Horidori Institute. He called himself Terror. Six years ago, I met Terror at Studio Devita, so I knew it was him. Terror was the one who killed your father, Yonaharu Enda. So, you met him with the intention of killing him? Well, that explains why he didn't talk to the police. I don't know. I don't know what got into me. I knew I hated him, but... I don't think I wanted to kill him. I wanted to hear what he had to say. Why did Uru ask to see? I think he wanted to brag about his plan. He had a smug look on his face when he was explaining it to me. The Nirvana Initiative? Well, why you, Mame? Mizuki, do you remember Uru's diary? February 13th. I met a person of the person of my destiny. On that day, at the west door of Studio Devita, Uru cornered Amame. They were face to face, close enough to touch. It is possible that... Uru fixated on Amame. Why did Tokiko commit suicide? I... don't know. She didn't tell me. On February 10th, I knocked out Uru and put him on the slicing machine. After the machine stopped, I sensed someone behind me. Tokiko was standing there. I saw everything. Shall, Shall we make, we make a, deal? a deal? I will, I will give, give you some commands. And you will follow them. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. Her first order was to move the right half of the body. Tokiko's body. It was on the night of the 12th that I moved her. I went to the basement of Horidori Institute and found Tokiko's body there. Just like she told me. She specified that I move the body to the president's office. She told me, put the right half of the body on the desk and about how to get inside the room. She gave me the master key to the staircase as well and how to use the hidden elevator up to the office. Why'd you follow her orders even if she was dead? Well... I've, I've documented, documented what you did, and gave, gave it to one of my most trusted subordinates. If you stray from my commands even slightly, that evidence will be sent to the police. I see. About Tokiko's left half? She didn't give me any orders about the left half, so I just left it on the slicer. I was curious, though. So I did take a look. Why was Uru's left half at the stadium? I carried it. I borrowed the robot Shoma made. The one with one wheel. Tokiko ordered me to do it. And that's why I sent you the message on Nile, Mizuki. Because Tokiko told me to. I sent the message from the phone she gave Wait, me. Wait, what? What about Uru's right half on the ritual platform at the cathedral? Why would Tokiko know that Uru would be sliced in half? He wasn't meant to be sliced in half. She sliced him in half because she was angry. So why would Tokiko assume that he'd be sliced in half so that you could put half his body in the stadium? When she's already dead. She's dead, right? So there's no reason for her to tell you to do that. Because she would assume that he's still alive. What the fuck? Anyway, Karen. <laughs> I didn't move the body. It was Tokiko. I don't know why she Isn't did she that. Did? I'm guessing she wanted to hide the right half of the body for some reason. What does all this mean? Tokiko forced Amame to send the message, oh. so it would be Mizuki who found Uru's left half. So it was her killing and Uru that made reason, him made her. She hid the right okay, half. Okay, okay, I get it. I don't get it. Why would Tokiko ask you to do anything? I committed a crime. A crime that I can never take back. I can't reflect, repent, or apologize. Nothing will fix what I did, At least you killed a no matter killer. what my reasons were. I can't. 
killed a human being. But... I couldn't forgive him for what he did! That man who killed my father! All for some plan! What's that about anyway? Some stupid plan? That's why my father had to die. Mame, I understand how you feel, but think about how Shoma and Geni are going to take this. I know. I know that. I know that they trusted me. I know that I betrayed them. Thinking about them hurts so much. My chest feels like it's going to explode. The guilt. And Komeiji, too. I'm sure he didn't want you to avenge his death. <laughs> I'm there. Ah, it was a serial killer. You'll get a slap on the wrist. You'll be fine. <laughs> Could have just fucking told us about it, like, hours ago, though, and then we wouldn't have to go through this. Just saying. After she regained her composure, we asked Mame about the Nirvana Initiative. But she told me that what she saw in the Somnium, we saw this in the Somnium was the full extent of what she knew. She had no more information to add. It's almost 11. Not much time left. We need to find where the plan's going to take place. Damn it. What do we do? We need to stay calm. Keep a level head and think. Can I ask a stupid question? Why did terror slice people in half? Why does that even matter at this point? Just think about it. Why? Because the slicer was in the basement? Yeah, but that's not the reason. There are plenty of other ways to kill. Uru despised Jin and Jakara because they took his organs. So he wanted to kill them in the cruelest way he could think of. But why kill Komeiji the same way? Because he took something important from Uru. Six years ago, on February 11th, Komeiji took the corpse from the rooftop amusement park in his suitcase. Right. Jin's left half. And that must have angered him. Maybe. But that amount of anger would be nothing compared to what he felt for Jin and Chikara. I recall something Tokiko said. What you call the HB case is but a small part of the plan. That's exactly what I'm talking about. The three of them were sliced in half as part of the plan. Yeah. There must be some kind of meaning behind the bodies being cut in half and left in specific places. Let's see. The right half of Jin Furaway's body was the one that fell from the ceiling of Devita, right? His left half was found at Misaton Rooftop Amusement Park, like we said earlier. Chikara Horadori's right half was found in a Sekiba High Classroom. And his left half was found at Yoyagi Park. Andy's Komeiji's right half was found at Studio Dvaita, just like Jin's. And his left half was also the same as Jin's, on the stage at the Rooftop Amusement Park. Hmm... I wonder why? Why put Komeiji's body in the same places? The location must have been important somehow. Jin Furoe's body was disturbed and removed from the scene by Yonaharu Enda, aka Andy's Komeiji. There must be some kind of significance to replacing the body at that location, this time using Komeiji's. Maybe it's making an X. I don't follow. What does it mean? Chakras, Chakras are points. Are points. By definition, a point cannot be reduced further. It cannot be severed from itself. So the chakras will remain, tethered between the left and right sides of the body. Like a so there's a gate that's meant to open between them? The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the scene can occur. Mm -hmm. Well, that would mean... The Nirvana Initiative is happening at... And between those two places. 
I need the map, yeah. Alright, where's, um... So, Yoyagi Park's there. Where was the other half of that one? Uh, Sekiba High School. So, Yoyagi Park's there. Sekiba Higher is there. Misatan is there. And where's the other one? The Studio Divider. Is there. So right in the between those. The X. There. Oh wait, the stadium. I feel like it has to be the stadium. None of those. Stadium. It's right in the middle of an X. Yeah, that makes sense. We have our answer. Right. The rocket carrying TC Purge. It will be launched from... That's right! The stadium! Well, it would have been obvious if we'd just driven around town. There must be a lot of cars parked outside this place. <laughs> have that many people here. I think the odds are just about even. Terror. Uru Samazuki. <laughs> Thanks for that. There was a code in the Nirvana X video that indicated the time and place of this plan. We were never able to crack it, but it probably would have led us here. The plan was probably to have everyone who cracked the code assemble here. Nirvana. Collected. Genocide. Currently, the stadium is surrounded by riot police. Barriers have been erected over 500 yards out in every direction. Even the police and National Guard are not permitted in this no-go zone. It should help mitigate the spread of TC Purge. Guess that's why no one's here. Welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, world. Except no one will be here because we'll be out of this pretend world, right? Hey, how much longer are we gonna play this game? Yeah, we need to do something about the rocket. But.
Where is it? I attempted to scan the area with x-ray, but I did not find anything. I guess we'll have to look harder. The rocket has to be around here somewhere. Should we get them to help? They seem like they could use something to do. You could try. Iba, what time is it now? 11.20 a.m. 40 minutes till noon. I'm ready. We shall see. Leave the people to me. I'll get them all at once. You two, go look for the rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, Date is blind in one eye, and Bibi, you're... Don't worry about my heart. I'll be fine. But... Enough talk. Let's get going. Yeah, let's get groping! What? I, I mean, let's get going. Mizuki, please allow me to terminate Date after all this is over. No. Not if I do it first. No terminating. Have we got quick time events coming again? Don't worry. No one's gonna die. I loaded it up with stun rounds. Lame. <laughs> when Mizuki smacks them with the pipe, they're gonna die. Let's go. Guarantee that. Yeah. yeah! Thanks, baby. Is your heart okay? I told you. I'm fine. Okay, let's go. You're taking out groups bigger than this with ease. What did you shoot him with? A grenade? <laughs> well, you created a monster, huh? <laughs> Nothing like getting your ass kicked by your own creations. Mizuki's sake. Well, I guess technically you're also Mizuki, but... Date. Anyway, heal up here. Got it? <laughs> oh, Date's such a badass. I miss him. Oh, 
Where's other Mizuki when you need it? Mizuki, you're stronger than all of us. You can take care of yourself. Are you gonna go help Date? Without me, he's ineffective. He needs me. Or else... Got it. Leave this to me! Huh? Ah, it is so nice to be home. Why'd you come back? To retrieve my stamp collection. <laughs> I do not want to have to start over. It appears that you require assistance. Need a hand? <laughs> I don't need your hand. But what I could use is your eye. Understood. I am with you, Kaname Date. Good. Let's go. Six o'clock, Date! <gasps> Got it. Well, that guy's definitely dead. <laughs> no matter force required to shoot someone across the room like that. From the back. His spine's gonna be in fucking many pieces. Where's the rocket? What the this time when you need someone to say something rocket? inappropriate. That is not a mere rocket. It's a goddamn ballistic missile. The bullets are not going through. Analysis complete. What Terror said is true. Then what do we do? Let me finish. Terror specified metallic objects. Therefore, if you use your body, we can get through. Correct. Sounds easy enough. Bibi and I should be able to destroy the rocket with our bare hands. Yeah, you did kick down that tree at the shrine. Let's go. You can't be serious. Can we just beat all you? Why? Insulation. They are all wearing insulated suits. But what if BB and I hit him? We're 
running out of time. To get close to the rocket, we need to do something about these guys. But stun bullets won't work, right? Let's run them over. We'll have to use brute get force. Get a I agree. Sorry, people, but... Huh? What are you going to do? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to break their bones. I said we just run them over with a cat. <laughs> what? I switched them to real ones. Don't worry, I'm only going to shoot their limbs. What's this? I've seen this before. It's optical camouflage. But it's okay. If you use thermo mode, you and Gate can. That's we can handle this. Suki. I've seen Ghost in the show. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll think of something. Something? It's fine. Let's go. Date, let's go. Normal Mizuki doesn't have a uh, thermo mode. She might as well just go and take out the rocket instead. Leave them to fight. <laughs> Nothing I can do. Get rid of them! Roger that. Hey, good timing. Captain Crazy's here to save the day. <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? Oh, please, don't show off. Ryuki... Tama... You guys... You took way too long! What the hell were you doing until now? Sorry. The riot police stopped us. We only got through the barricade with... Again. You're here too? Leon brought his keyblade. <laughs> Bibi and Date are still fighting. Oda, Iris, and Kizzy are in the armored car running amok. They pull over and got off, leaving Moma inside. Oh, Moma's here too. And. We got the thermite bombs too. I can explain. To protect Amame. To avenge my father. We won't let Terror win. We're gonna ruin his stupid plan. So, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm you're glad manly, you're all here, but <laughs> Shoma too? What? Are you saying I can't help? Well... If you think that, you're mistaken. He has the most powerful weapon here. You mean... The detonator. It has a fingerprint lock, so only I can use it. The detonator? For... Yep, the thermite bomb. Mizuki, think about it. Do you think destroying the rocket will really stop the plan? I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Even if it's prevented from taking off, I'm sure Terra rigged it to explode. Which would still spread TC I mean, inside the stadium. The wind would carry it. And ultimately, the damage would be the same. There would just be fewer initial infections. So what's your plan? 
That's where the thermite comes in. A thermite reaction can create temperatures up to 3,000 degrees. TC Purge would get burned up in something that hot. It's the only way to stop it from spreading. Isn't the thermite bomb made of metal? How is it going to get past the wall? Don't worry. That reflecting wall must be controlled from the inside somehow. We just gotta get in and break whatever device controls it. And that will stop it from working? Hopefully. Thank you so much, Tara. I'm home. Uh, Iba, what are you doing? Get over here, you're gonna get caught. Thermo mode running on all cylinders. I can see it all. Indeed. So, why did you come back? Date rejected me. What? I don't need you. Go help Mizuki. <sighs> that guy. We're running out of time, everyone. I don't think any of you can see the enemies except Ryuki. But if you apply enough force, you can break the camouflage function. So I'm gonna lead the way. Follow your lead and beat up anyone we see, huh? Wallop them after you make them visible. But not you, Shoma. Huh? Shoma, you need to stay back. If they get to you, we won't be able to use the thermite. Fine. Okay. You all ready? Yeah. I'll need your help. You got it. For the future of mankind. Yeah. Yeah. Let's fucking go! <laughs> oh, Leon. <laughs> Why isn't Moma helping? You'd think he'd enjoy doing the violence out here? Let's do some violence. Yeah. Let's go! Drive around like crazy, you're been guaranteed to hit a few. <laughs> Kizzy, what is that? I just found it. Is that Momo's? Uh, maybe. Well, who cares where it came from? Do it, Kizzy! Okay, here I go. Come get some! <laughs> where, where are they? Ryuki just got shot. Ryuki. Ryuki, hey! Mr. Date. Please, 
stop him. My crimes will never be, ever be forgiven. What the hell are you talking about, Ryuki? You know I've already forgiven you. Mr. Dante. Th thank you. Quick, take his eye. No, Ryuki, don't die on me. I'll definitely come in handy. The hero of justice can't die. That has always been the rule. Ryuki, come on. Ryuki! Ryuki! Uh, Ryuki! Mizuki, we don't have time. Take care of Ryuki later. Damn! Your pipe's middle, right? Can't take that in there. Iva, how much time? Five minutes. Hurry. Trying. <laughs> Mizuki, less than three minutes. Quiet. I know, I know. <laughs> Mizuki, go on ahead. We'll handle things here. Huh? What are they? That's the recolor. It's fine, let's go. <laughs> you know that's a boss one. It's a recolored enemy. <laughs> so you know they're stronger than the regular ones. What? Any more of that guy? We would have a chance if they were all like that guy. <laughs> they just spend more time training. Probably can't take Iva through either, right? How are you gonna get the thermite on it now? Still make it. Huh? What are you going to do? Do you even need to ask? Yes. What are you gonna do? You can't fly. Okay, you can fly, never mind. <laughs> Don't know what I was thinking, jeez. Of course you can fly. Uh, just a little more. The world's most powerful scooter. It can't be. Oh, you should have filled it up this morning. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Come on. Uh. <laughs> that was too much mesh. I have a hard time imagining that's not going to spread at all. Indeed. <laughs> Plain success indeed. Thanks, Mizuki. Same to you, Mizuki. Ah, oh, jeez. What about all the parts of robot, or all the parts of scooter and rocket that are going to be landing all over the place? Should we be worried about that? I'd be worried about it if it lands on my house. I'm glad everything worked out. Indeed. Good job, you two. How long's it been? A week now. I know. I'm still feeling all tingly about it, too. It'll wear off in six months or so. Oh, good. About BB's adoption. Why were you hiding her? You could have just told me. In retrospect, yeah. But there was a reason I couldn't tell you. If I told you that, I would have to tell you everything. Not to mention, Mizuki is my secret weapon. She's like my personal ninja. But Ryuki knew about BB, right? Yeah. I didn't want him to find out, but... He saw us. Mama and I were shopping at the supermarket. I told you not to call me that. Who cares? They already know. Mama, huh? Are you jealous, Mizuki? N no That's not it. About Ryuki? He's gone. Don't let it eat at you forever. There was nothing you could have done. But... Raise my pay. Why? Well... Isn't it obvious? We were able to solve the case because I worked really, really hard. Oh, patting yourself on the back, huh? So uncool. Uncool. Not as uncool as your underwear. My underwear has nothing to do with it. Sure. And excuse you, my underwear is really cute. I want to see. Oh, grow up. I didn't mean it like that. It's just for my future reference. Peter? Tama? I wonder what she's doing about now. Well, I'll let it be. About Iba's memory? Oh, that. We weren't able to completely recover the memory, but... The days I spent with Iba, we at least got that. That data has been re-uploaded and re-implemented. I now have memory of that time. I wanted to ask about my pay. We did that. This again? But... 
Well, I do have to praise you for a job well done. So, I have a special present for you both. A present? It was left at a special place. You should find it. A special place? Your friends should know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're planning, but... I guess it's not a bad idea to see everyone again. Well then? Yeah, let's get going. Alright, whatever. Oh shit, okay. Okay, okay, so this is gonna take a while. Alright, I'm just gonna wrap this one up here, and we'll do the epilogue in the next episode, okay? Because that's gonna take ages, and there'll probably be like post credit scenes and all that sort of jazz. You know, so I'll leave it to one more, because we're already 45 minutes in. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.